we've rolled out vaccines very quickly, but we don't have um, years of data um, like we do with flus, for example, to uh, see whether this um, vaccine or somebody who has uh, been infected with COVID, how long their immunity would last. We've heard stories around the world of people being infected with COVID-19 twice, and that's because their immune response was not what we expected uh, in terms of blocking that new infection. That could be the same uh, with the vaccine. We may find that um, immunity wanes over a over a period of time. Um, if COVID-19 stays in circulation, we may need a booster shot um, in a couple years or in five years, like some of the other vaccines uh, that we take. Uh, so the study of the impact of COVID-19 and the vaccinations that we receive will be ongoing. And in the absence of knowing that, hey, if you've had COVID-19, you're immune, and hey, if you've had uh, the vaccine, then you're immune, we have to keep going with the protection amongst us. Um, we have to uh, restore the level of funding and the relationships uh, with the global health community. Uh, for example, here in the US, restore our connection to the World Health Organization, restore our budgets to the CDC. Um, in Canada, uh, making sure the vaccine research and emerging infectious disease research funding stays high. That's one of the reasons I'm in the US, uh, in fact, uh, was cutbacks in that area, um, so that we are ready for the next one that would come along and there will be a next one and we are uh watching for that around the world and planning for uh the inevitable and being ready with new vaccines new platforms new research new therapies uh for when the next one comes around um we had the warning with sars 2003 um we worked in that area for quite a while um, and then when SARS went away, um, so did some of the vaccine initiatives and the funding. Um, now we know another dangerous coronavirus can be, uh, you know, a certain number of years away. Um, it could be worse. Um, and we have to be better prepared for that um, in the future.